Hello everyone, today our story is No Room for a Baby Roo by Neil Griffiths. Oh no, <laughs> Baby Roo is sad. He can't find a space in his mom's pouch. Can you help Baby Roo to get back to his mom's pouch? No room for a Baby Roo. My mom's pouch is the most comfy, cozy pouch in the world, thought Baby Roo as he snoozed one afternoon. I'm going to tell my friends how comfy and cozy it is, he thought. He hopped to the eucalyptus tree and told baby koala. Go on, try it if you don't believe me, he said. Then he hopped to the wood pile and told baby possum. Go on, try it if you don't believe me, he said. Next. He hopped to the river bank and told baby duck bell Philatibus. Go on, try it if you don't believe me. He said. He hopped to the Bellabong tree too and told baby Kukabura. Go on, try it if you don't believe me. He said. Finally, he hopped to the hollow and told baby Wombat. Go on, try it if you don't believe me. He said. Baby Roo was tired of hopping and felt like having a little snooze in his mom's comfy, cozy pouch. But when he found his mom again, Koala, Possum, Wombat, Duckbill Pilatibus and Kookaburra were all inside her pouch and there was no room for Baby Roo. Oh, poor Baby Roo. Baby Roo's mom's pouch was comfy and cozy, as Baby Roo had told them, and they had all fallen asleep. Baby Roo felt sad and wished he hadn't told them how comfy and cozy his mom's pouch was. He began to shiver in the cold night air. Just at that moment, Baby Koala popped her head out. It is comfy and cozy in here, Baby Roo, but it is so hot. I think I'm going back to the cool breeze of the eucalyptus tree, she said. Then Baby Possum popped his head out. It is comfy and cozy in here, Baby Roo, but Pelatibus keeps pushing his beak in my ear. I think I'm going back to my wood pile. There is more room there, he said. Then Baby Duck Belt Pilatibus popped her head out. It is comfy and cozy in here, Baby Roo. But Kukabora keeps snoring. I think I'll go back to the river bank. It is much quieter there, she said. Then Baby Kookaburra popped his head out. It is comfy and cozy in here, Baby Roo, but Wombat keeps wriggling. I think I'll go back to my nest high in the billabong tree, where it's nice and still, he said. And finally, Wombat popped her head out. It is comfy and cozy in here, Baby Roo, but it's a little lonely <laughs> on your own. I think I'll go back to my hollow and join my brothers and sisters, she said. Baby Roo quickly hopped back into his mom's pouch. It was the most comfy and cozy pouch in the world, he thought, but decided to keep it to himself as he fell asleep. Don't forget to give things for yourself and don't share it with everyone. And if you like the story, don't forget to subscribe, like and share for more great stories to come. And to follow me on Instagram, reward twice to share stories and ideas together. Thank you for watching and see you for more stories.